Hey guys, it's raining today and I wanted to come out and show you my two bed options that I use in my Toyota Sienna minivan. I first started with this Coleman Comfort Smart Cot with mattress pad. If you're looking for something quick, cheap, easily removable, if you have to convert back to a regular van, then this is a pretty good option. You can also fold it up if not needed. So I went ahead and set up this cot inside of my van. And what I wanted to show you is that this is basically the same size as a narrow twin mattress. And with my 40%, so my right hand side of my 60, 40 split bench here, it actually holds this in place pretty well. It does move a little bit, but it gives me plenty of storage underneath. And I'll walk around. And it also leaves a little bit of room up front here. So with this, I cannot fit my Alpacool mini fridge very well. So what I ended up doing was getting another mattress and frame set that I think works pretty good. All right, so this is the second item that I picked up after I had messed with that cot a little bit. That cot was perfect for if you're going for a weekend trip or some kind of adventure like that, but it wasn't stable enough for kind of the long-term camping that I wanted to do. So I ended up buying this narrow twin frame. It's a pretty solid steel frame. And then the six inch memory foam mattress, which folds out pretty nice, covers the frame very well and it is very comfortable so when i go extended trips i will put this in the van i'll throw my fridge in there in front of it and then this thing will be pretty solid for quite a long time so i'll get this one set up All right, good, so I got this mattress in, and then what I like to do on top of this mattress is I have a narrow twin sheet set. I do like to have a black sheet, and the reason is if someone just walks by my van and I don't really want people to know that I'm in it, uh, and I also don't want the windows open or uh, closed fully with the shades. They walk by because the windows are tinted. They're really not going to see, you know, they're not going to really notice this black mattress in the back of my van. And so the best thing about this setup is, you know, I can sit here. I do have a little mini table. I can use that little mini table to work on a computer if I need to. I can sit here and read a book. I have a nice comfortable armrest. And when I'm traveling, this bed doesn't move at all. So on top of that, I have this perfect slot here to put my mini fridge. And as you can see back there in the corner, I have my power stations ready to supply my mini fridge. So let's see. That is my two bed frame options. If I'm going for a long-term trip, this is extremely comfortable. It has plenty of storage underneath for you to put stuff. I can fit medium size roller luggage under here sitting upright. And then I can also fit a bunch of stuff. So this gives me a lot of room and versus the the cot this mattress 
is much more stable. So one thing with the Sienna is it has these four uh, mounts for the middle row of seats and the floor is actually not flat. And so when I use this little thing right here as a platform for this bed, it actually makes the bed really level. And so I don't intend to pull these out at all. And the other good thing about leaving these in is when I have stuff under the mattress, this bar here kind of helps block anything from rolling forward and rolling it into under the driver's seat. So it's a pretty good little bed setup and it gets me through any trips. I'm never uncomfortable. I always have decent enough headroom. I mean, I'm not gonna be in here you know sitting on the bed sitting up because i have this chair right here that i can sit in so when i sit in this chair plenty of room and with my window shades down i can pretty much see the whole world around me so i wanted to show you one more shot with the tailgate down the mattress pretty much lines up with the end of the tailgate and if you see i have like another couple of inches there I actually usually push that back as far as I can and that gives me just a little more room right here. So I wanted to show you under the bed one more time. Lots of room under there and so that's perfect for you know if you're going to do something a little more long term. Hey guys thanks for watching my video about my two bed options for my no build camper van conversion. If you liked my content please hit the subscribe button down here. Give this video a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.